Hello everyone, Steven here from Red Adolescence and welcome back to another video. Today we are in Manhattan, New York City and I am joined by Chad. So Chad came down here from Canada and I'm very happy to have him on my channel. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Thank you for agreeing to uh, be a part of this video. Thank you for doing mine and thank you for dinner. Anytime, my pleasure. We well, you paid for your own meal. But. Well, that's true. It was still <laughs> a great time with Cody and Becky. So. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was a lot of fun. So today we're actually going to do a very quick first impressions video. Um, I've smelled this fragrance before. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, this is going to be Chad's first time um, smelling it. Um, I do plan on purchasing a bottle of this because I really do like it. This is actually by Bond Number no. 9 and it's called Harrods Oud Patchouli. So um, just to uh, get you guys started on some information about this fragrance, it was released in 2012. Um, they haven't listed the perfumer for this fragrance, but I'm going to go ahead and guess it's Laurent Le Garnet, who has done many other Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. This is classified as an oriental woody because it does have a lot of vanilla and resins in there too. Um, and this is a patchouli dominant scent as the name of the fragrance would imply, Harrods Oud Patchouli. So it is an exclusive to Harrods and it is a little bit more on the pricey side. I think MSRP, if I'm not mistaken, is $350. Uh, there is currently a seller online who's selling a 3.3 ounce uh, Eau de Parfum for $250. So, Harrods in the UK store? I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't know if it's available only in select locations or if you can find this in all Harrods locations. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm actually already wearing this, so I'll go ahead and apply it on you. Don't rub it in. So you want me to tell you what the notes are? And, uh, okay, well, or what do you get out of it first, and then I'll tell you what's in it. You get a, a green, dirty, earthy sort of feel. Yep. A little resinous, maybe? There's, you said there's a uh, oud, oud patchouli. Okay, if there's oud in there, it's very faint, very light. I don't like oud. Um, I think the only oud fragrance I liked was uh, was an oud fragrance from Creed. Louis got us the smell of royal oud. That's okay. it. Yeah, that one was actually kind of nice. I actually liked it. It's something I would try. Yeah. Um, this is nice. Um, I don't know, I can't really get, I don't know if there's any citruses in it, but I get the green, earthy, dirty sort of feel, a nice blend, but not a best. Right. And uh, Chad is actually absolutely right. Uh, there is quite a bit of food in there, but it's not offensive or it's not the food that you would expect to get from a fragrance because it is masked up by all these other ingredients, uh, namely the patchouli, which you okay. quite excellently uh, described as being dirty and kind of earthy and whatnot. Yeah. Um, this does contain rose, it has sandalwood, it has agarwood, it has artemisia, which is basically wormwood, which is used in the uh, fermentation of the alcoholic spirit absinthe. I'm starting to get a little bit of rose. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely a, a really nice yeah, rose palm. Rose is there. But it's not overpowering to the sense that it's floral or anything no, like that. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah. So, um, actually, according to user votes online and what I've gotten from my experience, longevity is 12 plus hours. That's what a parfum concentration. That's pretty typical for Bond, right? Yeah, I think so. There are some that are on the lighter side. Even, even Bonds like Eau de New York have a okay. pretty good longevity to them, even though it's mostly citrus based. Oh. It does tend to last for a long time. And projection on this one, I would say for personal experience, is six hours in the Okay. So it's actually really, really good. So uh, what do you think about this one in terms of seasons? What would you wear? Uh, well, just the name itself would kind of say colder, fall and winter. I'd say maybe more uh, winter. Yeah, I think so too. I think uh, even fall, if you wear it on a somewhat warmer fall day, it might still be overkill. So I would go ahead and say winter. What about occasions? This is definitely more of a classier fragrance. Uh, definitely semi-formal. Uh, I think it could be used in the office as long as the, the sprays are not, not part of your 10 spray Tuesday club. <laughs> I know, yeah, I have to agree with you on that. I would definitely say office and semi-formal. I don't think you could, this is not casual. I wouldn't want to Alright, thank you. So, uh, definitely, it's not casual, it's more of a classier, mature fragrance. Right. 
different. And uh, I would also have to agree with that. I think that this one uh, is more suited for formal wear and semi-formal wear. Just the price itself, I wouldn't warrant this to be worn casually. And I don't think it's sweet enough to be worn on a night out. And no. um, I know I already told you the price, um, but if it weren't for that, how much would you expect to pay? Because it's gone. If it's just like a regular consumer, not, not like a, if it's just like an everyday guy, maybe eighty to ninety dollars. But because I know it's gone, it's going to be at least one hundred forty to one hundred fifty. So once again, MSRP is about thirty dollars. Um, and other than that, I think we pretty much covered all our bases. So that was actually the first impression on bond number nine, Harrods Blue Patchouli. Uh, Chad, thank you for coming out hey, man. for agreeing to do this video with me. Thank you for uh, letting me be on camera. Man. Of course, absolutely. All right, and hopefully we can get together soon, maybe spring break, maybe the summer. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what? You stay with me. It's, right. on, it's on camera, so if Stephen comes to Toronto, you can stay with me. All right. And I'll stay with the boss. It's going to happen. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Again, if you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to rate and subscribe for future videos and frequent giveaways. So once again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Steven and Chad with another video from Red Lessons. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>